This video will focus on the different configuration components that are required to perform a vulnerability assessment scan, and it will demonstrate using these components to launch a scan. This diagram illustrates the basic components that comprise a vulnerability scan. To launch a vulnerability assessment scan, you will certainly need at least one scanner appliance. The lab exercises in this course use the Qualys Cloud's pool of external scanners, which is the default setting for the Qualys Student Trial account you may be using. When selecting a scanner appliance for any scan task, you will need to consider the host assets your scan intends to target, which is another required component for launching a scan. Your scanning targets include net blocks, or specific ranges of IP addresses, or even a single IP address in your Qualys subscription. Host IPs must be added to your subscription first, before you can scan them. Any host assets in your Qualys subscription can be added to an asset group, which is another option for targeting a scan. Asset groups allow you to manually manage and group host assets in your subscription. Asset Tags, the last scan target option, provide a dynamic and automated solution for managing host assets in your Qualys subscription. For now, simply understand you can launch a scan that targets any asset groups or asset tags that you've created. You'll get an opportunity to create your own asset groups and asset tags in the lab exercises that follow. Finally, Every vulnerability assessment scan must select an option profile containing various scan preferences and scanning options. If your scan uses an option profile with authentication enabled, one more component, an authentication record, is added to the list of required scan components. Be sure to watch for these scan configuration components in the next section where I demonstrate launching a scan. Before launching a scan, let's first verify which host assets are in my subscription. Here in the Assets section, under the Host Assets tab. Here I can see the Qualys Training Lab IPs have been added to my subscription and are ready to scan. Also notice that I've deployed the Qualys Agent on two host assets. Agent host assets are easy to spot here under the Host Assets tab because they display the agent tracking method, which is the Qualys host ID mentioned earlier in this course. The exercise steps you completed in Lab 1 use the Quick Actions menu here in the Host Assets tab to launch a scan. For this demonstration, I'll navigate over to the Scans tab within the Scan section and click the New button to launch a scan. Although there are many options available, for this demonstration, I'll use the Scan option to launch a manual scan. Here we can now see the different scan components mentioned earlier, including the option profile, scanner appliance, and the host assets this scan will target. To select the appropriate option profile for your scan, click inside the Option Profile field and select from the drop-down menu. The scanning lab exercises that follow will have you create this custom authentication profile for your authenticated scans. Let's take a quick look at some of the option profile settings you'll be using. To do this, I'll click the Select link next to the Option Profile field, and then click the Edit icon for the custom authentication profile. There are over a dozen different options to choose from here in the Scan section. In this course, we focus on the basic configuration settings in an option profile, such as the TCP and UDP port settings, preset scan performance options, vulnerability detection options, and the different options for performing a scan in authenticated mode. For an extended discussion of these and other scanning topics, please see the Qualys Scanning Strategies and Best Practices training course. Here, the standard scan option is used for both TCP and UDP ports. Typically, it's best to avoid scanning through network filtering devices, but when left with no choice, you'll want to ensure that network filtering devices, including host-based firewalls that would normally impede your scanning traffic, are configured to allow scanning packets on the ports you are targeting. To adjust scan performance, click the Configure button here under Performance. The preset performance settings identify the amount of bandwidth used by the scanner appliance, high, normal, and low. The low option reduces scan performance and should be used for bandwidth-restricted networks or heavy traffic environments. 
High provides the best scan performance and works best in network environments with ample bandwidth or light traffic. Normal provides the best balance between scan performance and bandwidth usage. The custom vulnerability detection option will allow you to target and test a specific list of QIDs from the Qualys knowledge base using a search list that you add here using the add list button. You'll also find the option to exclude a list of QIDs from a scan. However, when configuring vulnerability detection, Qualys recommends using the complete option. The idea is to scan for everything and then use the filtering options in a report template to help you focus on specific types or groups of vulnerabilities. It's considered a best practice to perform your assessment scans in authenticated mode. You'll find authentication options for various devices, operating systems, and protocols listed here under authentication. The lab targets in this course require Windows and Unix authentication. Remember, you'll need to create an appropriate authentication record for each authentication option you select here in the option profile. With an option profile selected, I'll return to the launch scan window and use the drop down menu to view my scanner appliance options. The default scanner appliance will vary from account to account depending on the configuration of the scanners you've already deployed, as well as the list of host assets your scan is targeting. If you're using a Qualys Student Trial account, the Qualys Cloud Pool of external scanners is your default option, which will override the message that says, Scanner Appliance Not Available. Notice that you can also explicitly select the external scanner pool. The All Scanners in Asset group, All Scanners in Tag Set, and Build My List options are designed for using multiple scanner appliances for completing a scan task. My final scanner appliance option is a virtual scanner that I have deployed on my local area network. This is the scanner appliance I would normally select when targeting internal host assets with private IP addresses. I'll select the external option for our public facing lab targets. The final scan component allows you to target specific hosts or groups of hosts within your subscription. With the Assets Radio button selected, you can specify your scan target using any combination of asset groups in your account, or you can specify your target using a single IP address or an entire IP address range. The Exclude IPs option can be used with both asset groups and IP address range targets. To select asset tags as your scan target, you'll need to select the Tags Radio button and then add the tags you wish to target. Under the Asset Groups hierarchy, you'll find matching asset tags for each asset group added to your account. My scan is now targeting the IPs in the San Jose Asset Group using an asset tag. If you add more than one asset tag to your scan target, you'll need to select the appropriate Boolean operator. All is the Boolean AND equivalent, any is the Boolean OR equivalent. For example, selecting all will only target host assets that have both the Windows Desktop and the San Jose Asset Group tag. The Do Not Include option uses tags to exclude host assets from your scan. Before launching my scan, I'll give it a title that will make it easy to identify and then click the Launch button. You can monitor the progress of your scan using the Scan Status window that is automatically displayed. Or if you prefer, you can click the Close button and monitor your scan from the Scans tab. All scans begin in queued status before they begin running. Look for this green ball icon to identify finished scans that have been properly added and normalized into your account scan history. Thank you for watching this Qualys training video.